In DaVinci Resolve you can easily create graphics like this lower third here in Fusion. And as long as it's black, you can even change the transparency very easily. To do this, select the Fusion composition where your graphic or your lower third is in and open the Fusion page. This is my rectangle that masks my background, which has a black color. If you now change the alpha value, everything looks correct. But things get weird when we introduce some color. Changing the transparency suddenly looks like an additive blend mode and colors look weird. And here's the reason for this and how to easily fix it. The reason for this additive blend mode look is that the RGB values must be reduced accordingly to match the alpha value. In other words, these red, green and blue values are way too high for the low alpha value and the combination doesn't make sense for fusion. We would have to calculate a lower value for each of them when the alpha value is reduced. We could now try to do this manually. I just try to reduce the RGB values and keep their relation to each other to somewhat get the same color as before. But of course this is cumbersome and a lot of guesswork and not a good solution. It's much easier to just add one single node that does this calculation for you. And that's the alpha multiply node. As you can see, I leave my RGB values at the original values and can simply adjust the alpha value. This node calculates the correct RGB values according to your lowered alpha value and sends it to the merge node. Easy. That was a quick one. And if you are a Final Cut Pro user and are wondering if Resolve could be the better option for you, maybe watch this video here.